What is up my people? I am back again with another book review and this book here is called The Sleep Experiment by Jeremy Bates. Now before I start this video, I just want to say uh, a, great, a good thanks to a good friend of mine, uh, Matthew. Matthew, if you're watching this, thank you so much for giving me this for Christmas last year. I did enjoy it. As you can see, I rated it, I read it. And I loved it. Thank you so much for giving me this book. The Sleep Experiment. This book here was published in 2019 and it was written by a Canadian Australian uh, author by the name of Jeremy Bates. And for those who don't know, Jeremy Bates is known for his The World's Scariest Places series. This series includes The Catacombs, Suicide Forest, and Black Canyon. So if you're interested with those kind of things, you know, definitely check out Jeremy Bates' uh, books, his series. So most of us have heard about the urban legend of the sleep experiment, and they actually made a film about this uh, experiment. It's, it's actually called The Sleep Experiment, uh, 2022 film. Now, I haven't watched the movie myself, but it basically follows the urban legend about, uh, you know, five prisoners were taken uh, captive during the Cold War. And these prisoners were sent to an experiment, a sleep experiment, where they were told that if they didn't sleep for a certain amount of time, they were able to go free. They were let off free. The plot to this book, the sleep experiment to the book, uh, is different. The plot takes place in San Francisco, where a psychology professor by the name of Dr. Roy Wallace does his own sleep experiment. Now he gets help from two of his students, uh, college students, and he takes in two subjects to do, to be a part of his sleep experiment. Everything goes well with the sleep ex experiment until, you know, a certain point in the sleep experiment where everything just goes chaotic, right? And this chaos kind of gets entangled with Dr. Wallace's life and you kind of see him down spiral that is the plot of the story without giving you you guys too much information for those who want to watch this or read this book uh what did i think i thought the book was brilliant i absolutely loved the, the story i will say that it does take some time for the story to kind of build up right it takes up until the half halfway point of the book that's when things really start to you know ramp up and you you get to see the problems that arise with this sleep experiment i thought jeremy's writing style was phenomenal i like his writing you know it's very vivid very creative and it's really easy to digest now the ending is phenomenal i love the ending of the story like i said it does take some time to build up but once shit hits the fan it hits the fan and it keeps going the ending doesn't really it doesn't disappoint at all i mean it, it just continues to get worse and it becomes a real page turner although the plot of the story is very simple it's still very entertaining because there are other pieces that get entangled with the main plot of the story and i love how you get to see the whole story from different points of views from different characters you see it from their point of view you see how each of them try to resolve the story or resolve their their situation their problem and for all those reasons i'm going to give this book the Sleep Experiment by Jeremy Bates. I'm gonna give this book a 9.1 out of 10. Like I said, I very much enjoyed this book. I thought it was a thriller for the second half of the story. Something that I wanna talk about is the premise of this book. You know, how, how long can we go without sleeping? What happens when we don't sleep for a very long time? I'm sure there are like psychologists or doctors or Whoever deals with this kind of stuff, leave it down in the comments below. You know, what does happen to people when they don't sleep for a very long time? I know if I haven't slept for, you know, if I didn't get my seven to eight hours of sleep the night before, I get cranky. I get grumpy. Obviously, this kind of takes it to a whole new level. You know, what happens when we don't sleep for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a whole month? You know, what happens to us physically, psychologically, mentally, you know? I think that's what's entertaining about this book and he kind of pushes uh, Jeremy Bates pushes uh, this whole idea so that is it the sleep experiment by Jeremy Bates like I said a 9.1 out of 10 for me uh, 
I'm very interested in reading some more Jeremy Bates. Like I said, he has the World Scariest Places series. I might actually read one of those. If any of you guys know or have read any of his other books, you know, let, let me know down in the comments below which one should I read next. But that is it, you guys. Uh, I want to give a huge thanks to, of course, Matthew, who gave me this book for Christmas. I want to give a big thanks to the author of this book, Jeremy Bates. Phenomenal book. Keep writing. I love your stuff. I might read some more or more than likely I'm going to read more of your books, uh, to be honest. And I also want to give a huge thanks to you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time I finish a book.